and leave it to contrarian badass Reggie Middleton. Now, at the time, you were the only analyst in the world to mention that it would starve the banks. Reggie Middleton, who nailed Facebook, by the way. I mean, not to be impolite, but what makes you so special that they all want to read your blog? Um, I can step on toes and be objective, objective and uh, offensively honest. Bitcoin. Now, as the price of the cryptocurrency vaults higher and higher, a lot of people are beginning to take notice. And is Bitcoin a bubble about to crash, or is it even a currency at all? Here to break down the bits and give us his forecast of where the world of technology is heading is Reggie Middleton, independent investor and financial blogger. Greetings. This is Reggie Middleton, and I'm here to give a quick video introduction to my latest entrepreneurial pursuit. These are the Boom Bus Zero Trust Bitcoin contracts. These contracts were designed by me to give individuals and institutions exposure into and out of Bitcoin from a wide variety of fiat currencies. Basically, um, this is a trustless, uh, no need for trust, digital contract, not necessarily paper contract or legal contract, but digital contract that allows you to basically um, gain or invest in Bitcoin in terms of exposure or invest in other fiat currencies in terms of exposure without making an actual transaction. Of course, you do have to have Bitcoin. You know, it's Bitcoin in and Bitcoin out. Um, this is very innovative, very unique. As far as I know personally, nobody anywhere on this God-given earth has done anything like this, which makes me very excited. And I think at least those who understand the potential of the Bitcoin protocol and the Bitcoin currency and cryptographic currencies in general, I think you will be very excited as well. I, equivoc I equivocate Bitcoin to the internet in the early 90s. Uh, it was a curiosity. A lot of people thought it was a nerd fad. And right now, most people couldn't survive or continue their day-to-day -day activities without the internet. Uh, Bitcoin is severely misunderstood. Bitcoin is a, should be bifurcated and thought of as two parts. A Bitcoin with a lowercase b, which is a digital currency based on cryptographic methods and crypto cryptography, and Bitcoin with a capital B, which is a protocol and a network based upon that protocol of which that currency is able to travel. So you have two parts to Bitcoin. Um, almost all the attention, the media attention, and investor and speculator attention is focused on Bitcoin with a lowercase b, the digital currency, which is very interesting, especially considering you know it has a meteoric rise, you know, 60,000% returns, etc. But what is of real interest is the protocol that Bitcoin travels along in the network. That allows you to do things such as program the money and make smart money. Uh, in this video, I'll show you the basic operations uh, like receiving or sending coins, registering swap requests and matching uh, the swap requests. To do this, I have uh, opened two different instances client 1 and client 2 and these both are using uh, a different wallet so, okay now I'll send coins from this client to this client so I'll copy its address and uh, paste it here and we'll enter the amount like uh, might be uh, 1 bitcoin or 1.5 send uh, this is because uh, Right. I have two bitcoins but only 1.2 are available and rest of all these pending for confirmation so let's start with 0 0.5 so now these are have been sent to this application okay now on my road to Bitcoin um, I've been doing a lot of research uh, I can tell you quickly how this got started so what the last year and a half a lot of my clients have been asking me for my opinion on Bitcoin and due to resource constraints, uh, I haven't really been 
been able to really dig in deep. Um, that's my fault. It was my mistake. And I'm actually very late to the party. But when I did look into it, I looked into it in the typical Reggie Middleton fashion. No preconceived notions, no prejudices, no biases. I simply wanted to look at it in terms of the risk-adjusted reward that it offered and from a global macro perspective, as well as from a micro perspective as well. When I looked into it, um, I can't say I'm a fan of Bitcoin or the cryptocurrencies, but I'm a very, very avid student. And when I did look into it, I really, really um, appreciated and enjoyed what I saw. And I really liked what I saw. And I'm taking the programmability of this currency and I'm planning to bring it mainstream. I will replicate a lot of the functions of the money center banks, commercial banks, and investment banks, okay, as well as certain financial services in the P2P network. No, peer to peer network. Because, like, for instance, this client wants to swap USG with BTC. Uh, hundred um, dollars for thirty days. I'll add this request. So now this contract has uh, uh, this is not a contract. Basically, a request has been issued and the status is just initialized, and it will remain initialized until end of the client. Uh, add another request which wants to reverse uh, in uh, reverse this operation like uh, I'll go there and add a request to swap BTC with USD for like two bitcoins now it has multiplied with 1.5 for the same amount of time point So now, as you can see here, as saying the close match is found, please click on the contract details. As you can see now, these both offers have been matched. Super secure in comparison to what the world is used to. Um, super fast in comparison to what the world is used to. And super malleable and flexible, again, in the comparison to what the world is used to. And most importantly, super cheap. You know, damn near free in comparison to what are the um, big investment banks or cli uh, clients are used to paying. And on that note, let's take a look at this uh, video clip and uh, I'll show you what's going on. Um, and afterwards, hopefully by the end of the day, hopefully, I'll be accepting limited betas, uh, testers to come in and try it out. Okay, you can try it out on two bases. You can use a full test version, which uses uh, dummy coins, you know, dummy money, BTC to go in and out, or you can use your own money, and it's, the trade should be working. Now, on that note, I'd like to make it very clear, this is a beta test, B-E-T-A. So, I think most of the bugs worked out, but we don't know, and I'm pretty sure there isn't. You know, very few uh, software development projects that I've worked on have worked perfectly the first time around. Okay, so we've been banging on it. I need for everybody to tell me you know what's right with it what's wrong with it any bugs we'll work it out anything from security on down to uh, the GUI and the user interface which is actually um, very rudimentary right now you know right now we're working on pure functionality okay now my blog subscribers get first shot at this so if you're a paid sub subscriber to Boombus blog you simply get at me give me a call or email and we'll get you started if you're interested um, Anybody who wants to be a guaranteed beta tester should be subscribed to the blog, okay? And then, again, get at me. And if you are somebody of interest, uh, and I'm pretty sure um, you can figure out if you'd be able to interest me, um, I'd like to have you on board as well. So you give me a call or an email. You can reach me through the blog and give me a quick uh, blurb about yourself, who you are, you know, why uh, I think I should have you on a beta test. And um, we can do it. We can do that. <laughs> the beta test right now would be limited to no more than one Bitcoin and an expiry of no more than seven days. Okay, and with it within that Bitcoin amount and within the seven days, you can swap exposure between Bitcoin and I'd say maybe one or two dozen fiat currencies. Okay, now it's just getting started, so there's not a whole lot of uh, users yet. Of course, as a matter of fact, it hasn't been started yet. So 
I will see the um, at least the first uh, go around the first swap of exposure, and hopefully the other beta testers will come in and do so as well. I'm sure we'll have definitely U.S. dollar, euro, and pound exposure, and uh, Chinese renminbi as well. That's my assumption. We'll see, and uh, I look forward to bring everybody into this new world of both technology and finance, where they intersect. This is a very, very, very big deal. You know, I'm very, very excited about it. To my knowledge, nobody, I mean nobody, has created uh, these zero trust digital contracts. In other words, a contract that allows you to swap exposure in and out of digital currencies without having to trust or even know the other side, okay? Without, with uh, assurances against laws that many OTC contracts cannot assure and number three, um, to be efficient in cost. Okay, very, very excited. I actually plan to replicate the businesses of investment banks, um, some of the businesses of commercial banks and the money center banks. Do it more efficiently, with more trust, uh, with, uh, with, without the need of trust, zero trust basis, and at one half to one third to even one quarter the price or less. So um, join me on this you know roller coaster ride of financial and technology excitement for those who get it and get the digital currency um, wave and for those who don't get it um, ask questions. You know I understand you may be doubtful. Uh, I released several videos and I just appeared on Russian television uh, yesterday and I tried to explain um, things such as spikes of volatility, uh, significant increases in prices, the difference between the actual currency and the protocol and the network, etc. So go through my videos um, and participate in the comment section of the videos and the blog. You know, I'm active in both. Okay? Au revoir. Good to see you aboard. And peace.